Okay, it's September 28th, year 2017. Uh, this time, I'm going to test a uh, vacuum tube amplifier. This is a specialized uh, high-end vacuum tube amplifier. It's made by BTL, Vacuum Tube Logic. Okay, I'm going to uh, do the same procedure. I'm going to uh, inject a signal from 20 kilohertz to 20 kilohertz. And let's measure the total harmonic distortion. Okay, uh, this is my, uh, I have two uh, devices here, spectrum analyzer and uh, oscilloscope measured output. I set the power output to 12.5 uh, watts. So that will be about 10 volts RMS on the output. Okay, let me show you now. Let me show you the high-end amplifier. So, okay, this is uh, Okay, that's a VTL vacuum tube amplifier, okay? High-end. It's more expensive than my car. <laughs> okay, and I have a uh, there. There's my Pico oscilloscope and my the smaller Pico oscilloscope, okay? I have two Pico oscilloscope attached to my uh, PC. Okay, let's let's do a performance test. The total harmonic distortion. Okay, I'm going to put it here. Okay. There, at least you can read it. Okay. Okay, now I set the frequency to 1 kilohertz. There. The total harmonic distortion is 0.8. There. Okay, let's increase it to 5 kilohertz. Okay, harmonic is 0.85. 10 kilohertz. There is uh, 1.0, 1%. There. And 15 kilohertz. Okay, let's increase the sweep rate so you can see the signal clearly. There. Where are we now? Uh, yeah, 15 kilohertz. 1.1 percent. And uh, 20 kilohertz. There. It's point. Almost one percent. Okay. So let's move back. I have uh, turned on the amplifier about thirty minutes. Okay, have it warm up. Okay, that's about it. I'll make you. Uh, I'll make another test. Okay. Okay, that's about it. Thank you.